hi here is how to install the nigerian market data app so from excel 2016 uh, works with excel 2016 up, uh, upwards you go to insert menu you click on store so and this loads up the office ad in store okay it's gonna come up in a bit So you search for Nigeria market data and it turns up the, the app. So you click on hard and it will be added. So you'll see it under the home tab and it will be the last adding you know, tool you have in your menu. Okay, so I'll click on got it, Nigeria market data. my internet is a little slow today okay so it loads up the app and you see all of these features available to you so i'm going to show you how you walk through each of them first the stocks with the stocks you can pull out the price data of all the stocks on the nigerian stock exchange uh, so i'm going to start with let's start with yesterday so i want to pull out all the stocks of companies on the nigerian stock exchange closing price yesterday so that's when you click on this and instantly you see it loads them up so i have uh, the company names yesterday's date and the closing price so on weekends uh, essentially you'll be seeing the same price on saturday as you saw on friday because the stocks don't trade on weekends right uh, so that's that say you have a specific ticker in mind you want to pick all the stock price for a particular company so say for instance i want to pick all the stock price for access access bank the ticker for access bank is access lg so if i provide that And you might ask, how do you figure out the, the ticker of the company you want to pull price from, uh, pull the stock's price off? A quick way is the just inserting all of yesterday's uh, result. And from there, you can figure that out easily. The tickers are the ones in the, in the parentheses, in the bracket. But the ticker I'm using are uh, the equivalent ones router uses. Yeah. Thompson. So if you go online and you search for the company on the website, the ticker they use is the very ticker I use. So not Bloomberg, but Realtors ticker. So I, after you've typed in the ticker ID, the ticker itself, you click on selected ticker and it's done. It's pulled out the stock for Access Bank, the price from as far back as 2002 right okay the next is highlighted date for date i recommend you first set the cell as text that way you overcome the different formatting style based on your locale okay and uh, preferably you enter it this way year i think month i think day so i'll say 20 17 maybe i want april april 10. okay now i'll pick on highlighted dates and it pulls all the stocks for that date so the same for stock analysis stock analysis pulls out the quants the financial statements uh, analysis of the companies from as far back as 90 uh, from as far back as 2005 so if i select the most recent it shows me last year's metrics for all of those companies so you'll see the company name the different metrics so for metrics we have i'm going to put in a filter there so it becomes easier for you to see cash flow from financing cash flow from investing so you have the 
the cash flow analysis, the current asset, current liability, gross margin, gross profit, net cash flow, net income, net income margin, return on asset. So your basic profitability ratios, revenue, total asset, total equity, total liabilities. So all this shows you across all those companies. So it's a lot, right? Because each company has about, uh, for each company, about 13 different metrics. The things as an investor you would like to see. Okay. So that does that. What if you want for a particular year? Because this shows you the the most recent year. In this case, uh, they all have the last full year for all of them was last year, 2016. So that's why you're seeing 2016 year. What if you want to pull out for a particular year? Very easy. You type in the year. So I want to pull out for 2014. So I type in 2014 and uh, highlighted year and that pulls that out for the year I selected. So you see I've been able to extract out for 2014. So that's how that works. And again you want to pull out for a specific ticker which I've shown you how to do. So that's the process. So I wouldn't repeat that to just put in whatever ticker you want. So maybe access. Okay, let me do that again anyway. So FCMB highlighted ticker and instantly pulls out for me all FCMB records. Okay. What if you okay? So we're done with this. We can move on to the FX rate. For the FX rate, again, you want to pull out for yesterday's FX rate. So FX rates are 40, about 40 major currencies uh, against Naira. So you have them against Naira. So one USD is 305 Naira. One Euro is 326 Naira. One GB British pounds is 389 Naira. Australian dollar. So the, the base is Naira, right? And that's the advantage it has over other ones because other ones, other applications, they tend to just convert the currencies to US dollar. And I mean, uses US dollar as the, as the second pair. And you always have to take back again from US dollar to Naira. But this is the currency against Naira, straight up. Okay. What if you want for a particular date? Because this shows you for, for, like yesterday you know, the last day so if you want for say to let's say for january right no let me pick maybe again april first of april so remember uh format this as text so you can impute the year the month and say the day and then i'll say highlighted date and instantly pulls out for me for that particular date. Then stock indices, stock indices pull out the the global stock indices, right? So we have the most popular indices: Dow Jones, S and P 500, and uh, obviously to the Nigerian stock index. Uh, where are we? How is this NSC? Uh, so this is Nigerian stock index and uh, the other popular this is for for carbon okay next is Brent crude price so it works the same way you want to pull out for yesterday so this is it you have a particular day in mind so you come in here set as text you type in the the date 2017-0405 and the um, Brent crude price I like that date shows you the crude oil price went down between here and, and there you know, between 5th of April and, and yesterday so that's good what about the Nigerian oil production you want to see our production records right mm -hmm. so all records the pulls up monthly uh average daily crude oil production price but this is in a this is in thousands so what you're looking at is 
million barrels per day right so you get to see how our crude oil production is doing if you have a particular month in mind okay so let's do for that and as you can see i expect the month to be in a this way you know three letters for the month and then year four letters so again i specify this as text and uh, if i want for for january 2016 right i pick that i choose highlighted month and it picks that up so january 2016 this is it okay Then GDP growth rate, you can you can extract out our GDP growth rate uh, from as far back as 2000, no, from, a first back, from as far back as 1980. So that's over 30 years of records. And okay. So it does, uh, it's, it's quarterly reported. So that's why you can see, you know, December, December, September, and like that, right? So the one for this, the first quarter of 2017 is not yet out. Once it's out, you'll see that. What about our inflation rate? The same. Uh, shows you our inflation rate. This is reported uh, monthly. So this is it. And the uh, CBN interest rate, the same thing. It shows you the CBN interest rate. It's currently high, 14%. And uh, the PMI. So the Purchasing Managers Index. You, so you click on it and yeah, it extracts for you the PMI from as far back as 2015. It uses the Stambik IBTC PMI. Also a population from as far back as 1980. Okay. And the uh, unemployment rate also. Okay. Uh, states and capital okay. the local government areas uh, states and local government areas if you need to extract any random Nigerian name Okay. And if you have a specific quantity in mind, you want to extract six Nigerian names. Six Nigerian names. And you get six Nigerian names. The same for quotes. If you need an inspirational quote, so let's go here. So if you need a very short, inspiring quote, something you can tweet. So the length is less than 140 characters, so you can tweet them. They are ideal for such things. So it, and it gives it, the quotes with the Auto, so it makes life really easy for you. If I need ten of ten such quotes, I need ten, and then it extracts for me ten. And, uh, okay, and this is how it all works. Uh, thank you, and I hope you enjoy using the Nigeria Market app. I keep improving it, so always, uh, if you have comments, you can reach me at. Uh, You can reach us you can reach me via the support you can access that here so you, if you click on get support you know it takes you to the support page and uh, you can always reach me here also you see i specified that you should always enter text in the text the dates in text format and the months also in text format so thank you and uh, we hope you enjoy the the adding